start this afternoon's remarks. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Secretary General, Ministers, Excellencies, friends and colleagues. On behalf of the Canadian delegation, I offer our sincere congratulations to our UAE hosts and to the staff of the ITU for organizing this very important conference and to you, Mr. Chairman, on your election as chair. La tâche que nous attend à la prochaine conférence plénipotentiaire est très importante. Le Canada reconnaît l'importance de bien orienter les activités du secteur de développement de télécommunications. Il comprend et sait fort bien que les télécommunications et les technologies de l'information et de communication sont essentielles pour le développement économique et social. Il n'est pas exagéré d'affirmer que les TIC et les télécommunications ont fasciné le Canada que nous connaissons aujourd'hui et elles fascineront le monde de demain. Canada has drawn on that understanding and its own experience to guide its ICT and telecommunications related development priorities. Canada fully appreciates our tools for growth and development success. Our government works cooperatively with many stakeholders to help generate that success, including the ITU. To illustrate Canada's firm belief in the need for a multifaceted sustainable development framework is our recent commitment of over $1 billion for women's and children's health in the developing world in relation to the UN Accountability Commission on this critically important subject, co-chaired by our Prime Minister Stephen Harper, along with Dr. Margaret Chan, Director General of the World Health Organization, and co-vice-chaired by Dr. Ture. As an important part of this development framework, Canada supports the agenda of this conference in addressing a number of fundamentally important matters, some of which are included in the following. Increasing access to broadband infrastructure, improving emergency communication services, encouraging ICT investment and innovation, strengthening financing opportunities and partnerships, addressing the special requirements of persons with disabilities, assuring that technological developments afford due regard for gender equity and the needs of young persons. Le plan d'action de UETD devrait adopter une méthode de gestion axée sur les résultats. Cette approche permettra d'optimiser la mise en œuvre des objectifs prédéfinis. Elle contribuera également à optimiser la gestion des ressources. Monsieur le Président, by taking a focused, results-based approach to defining the ITUD action plan, member states will ensure that the ITU is positioned to generate the best possible impacts. That approach will be one which enables cooperation by drawing on the strengths of all partners. It will be one that builds on the success to date while investing for even greater results in the years ahead. Thank you. Merci. Thank you.